Okay, so for this problem, it says that Katarina has borrowed 300000 from Trout Bank, okay? So they give us all this information, and they want to see if we can determine which statement is true. Okay, well, uh, so she'll pay 100000 of principal at the end of each of the first three years, and Katarina pays Trout Bank the variable interest rate equal to the one-year spot interest rate at the beginning of each year. Okay. I would like to fix interest, so the answer is just interest rate swap. Okay, so she borrows from a bank and wants to repay 100k every year for three years. Then Katarina will pay the bank a variable interest rate equal to one year spot rate. Okay. And then Karen would like to have a fixed interest rate. So she enters into an interest rate swap with Billy under the interest rate category would pay a fixed rate and Billy would pay a variable. It would be the same rate that is paid to child bank. The other terms of the swap will mirror the one that Karen Okay, so basically what Katarina is doing is that she borrows this amount of money from the bank. And she also has to pay the bank a variable interest rate equal to the one year spot rate and that so she enters into an interest rate swap to finance this variable rate because Katarina is paying that much to her whereas Katarina is uh, paying a fixed rate to Lily right so which of the lines is true okay well one thing for sure is that Katarina and Trout Bank are not counterbars is not. It's actually Katarina and Lily, right? Because interest rate swap. Who is she actually going to interest rate swap? Only Lily, right? Um, this is an accreting swap. Um, well, What's funny is that with interest rate swaps, there's always some sort of discounting involved. There isn't any accumulation. Like whenever we're setting like like these equations when it's like over some sort of discount when we're setting the fixed rates to the other side, you always put the spot rates at the bottom. Same as on the other side when we're putting the floating rates on this side as well. There's always like a lot of discount. There's no accretion, and accretion is accumulating, right? So A is out. Um, what else? Another thing is that the notional amount for this swap is 300,000. This one is wrong because the notional amount should refer to the principal, right? So the notional amount should be 100,000. Whenever you see notional amount, it's another way of saying principal. The notional principal. Okay, now we have two left. The settlement period for the swap is three years. And Lily's receiver. Okay, the settlement period for the swap. Okay, well, who, well, where do we see three years? Okay, three years, but Katarina is in, in a swap of the so it can't be three years. Katarina is in a swap with Lily. And it seems that, in, um, it seems that the settlement period between them is only one year because that's what usually happens in an interest rate swap. Each, it's because uh, each fixed rate and each floating rate is based upon the fact that uh, it's always discounted by one year by a spot rate most of the time, right? So, and also, uh, Katarina wants to pay the bank a variable interest rate equal to a one year spot interest rate, which is the amount that Lily is paying her in this interest rate spot, right? So, that is why the settlement period is not three years but one year. And that is why E is correct. Lily is the receiver under the swap. 
she's receiving a fixed rate from Catalina. When Lily is also exchanging a floating rate payment to Katarina to finance her borrowing from the bank. 